Hey guys, my name is Ashlyn Showalter. I'm a certified personal trainer and I'm an online health coach. I'm here at the PowerTech headquarters in Southern California and I'm about to show you guys one of my favorite gluten hamstring workouts. I've been sharing it with a lot of my clients lately and they've been loving it. So ladies, listen up if you guys want to build a booty, which we all do. I'm going to show you guys some activation work first. So here we go. Okay, so the first activation exercise that we're going to do is this sort of hip thrust movement. So what I do is I take the band and I attach it around a either cable machine or under a bench or whatever and place the band around my hips, like just really like my pelvic bone. You wanna go down, keep your knees hip width apart and touch your toes. And when you go down in the movement, really think about your glutes. And when you thrust up, you wanna squeeze through the glutes. So this exercise is really, really good to kind of warm up your glutes and get them activated, get them ready for the rest of the workout because we want them kind of like lit up so you can really get deep into that muscle. I would do about two sets of these for 30 reps. You would kind of want to go high rep and you want to feel the burn. And on every upward movement, you want to squeeze and hold for about one to two seconds. Activation exercises are very, very important because not only are you warming up your glutes for the exercise, um, this prevents injury, this gets the blood flowing, you're also opening up um, those tight hips that you're probably getting from riding in the car or your job sitting. So the second activation exercise that we're gonna do is basically kind of like a deadlift. It's gonna really warm up your hamstrings. You place the band under your feet and around your shoulders and you basically go down as if you're doing a deadlift. So you push your hips back and you really feel the stretch in your hamstring and your glutes. And when you come back up, you wanna squeeze the glutes again. Always squeeze at the top. So this is really gonna warm up your hamstrings for the rest of the workout. Okay, so moving into our first working exercise. It's gonna be the squat. And I really like to use squats at the beginning of my workouts because it's a compound movement and it really gets your full body. So your core, your glutes, your hamstrings, your quads, and it also really ignites your growth hormones for the rest of the workout. So this is gonna help you increase your muscle growth and lean mass gains. With the squat, you want to get under the bar and get into a good stance before you even lift the weight off. Uh, you're gonna back up, and when you go down into a squat, you want to take a breath, squeeze your core really tight, and squat as if you're sitting back into a chair. You really don't want m too much of your knees going f in front of you. You want to be more hips back. With squats, I like to do a warm-up set with the bar or just lightweight, and I'll usually do about 15 reps. This just really gets your form down and everything, and then you move into your working sets. I can do a mix. Sometimes I'll do heavy weight with four sets of six reps, and then sometimes I'll do four sets of 12 reps. So I'll go lighter on these with the 12 reps. Moving on to the next exercise, the 
Romanian deadlift using the landmine. With the deadlift, you want to really push your hips back. It's kind of similar to a squat, but you're not going to be bending your legs as much as a squat. So you're gonna keep a slight bend in your legs, but you don't wanna lock your legs out. Slight bend in your legs, and you wanna push your hips back and you wanna feel a really good stretch in your hamstrings and your glutes, and when you come up again, always squeeze. With a deadlifts, I'll do either heavy weight four sets of six reps and or four sets of 12 reps with lighter weight. And I always do a warm up set of 15 reps, no matter what, with light weight, just to really get your form down and really warm up your muscles. All right, so moving on to the next exercise. This is going to be a lunge with a shoulder press. Always remember when you're doing a lunge, you want to keep the weight in the working leg and you wanna drive through your glutes. You wanna really drive through your whole foot and you're gonna be concentrating on really getting deep into that glute and then when you come back, you wanna be pushing off through the glute and through your heel. So with the shoulder press, you want to be pressing straight above your head as you're going into the lunge. So basically, it's a kind of a full body movement and it's really gonna challenge your strength on this one. And I think the extra press up can really give that extra drive into the glute as well. If you don't have one of these cable machines, like the one behind me, uh, you can use a barbell, you can use a kettlebell, and just basically do the same movement. I'll usually do about four sets of 12 reps on each side. I really like this exercise because it's very challenging and it's always good to mix up your workouts. Um, so if you usually do just bodybuilding type workouts or hypertrophy type workouts, it's good to incorporate a really good full body movement into this. This is just really gonna shock your body, which is what you need. You need progressive overload, you need change. Your body adapts really, really quickly. So it's always really good and people love this exercise as well. It's really good for the full shoulders, abs, glutes, hamstrings. Okay, so moving on to the last exercise. This is one of my favorite exercises. It's always really good to incorporate uh, unilateral, so just single leg movements into your workouts. This helps with your balance. This helps with um, muscular imbalance corrections. And it also is just pretty difficult one. Um, it will challenge your balance for sure. With this one, you want to take the cable in the opposite hand of the working leg, and this will help with balance. Put your right or your left hand out to the side, whichever one's not holding the cable. You want to go down as if it's the same sort of deadlift motion, pushing your hips back as always, slight bend in the knee, and you really feel a stretch through your hamstrings and your glutes, and as you come up with the other leg, you come up and you touch the hand that is holding the cable. And what this is gonna do is just give you that little extra squeeze through the glutes. And we always love that. <laughs> so with this exercise, I usually do four sets of 12 reps on each side. You can change it up, you can do lighter weight with higher reps, you can do heavier weight, lower reps, really whatever you feel the burn the most and whatever's gonna shock your body because what we wanna do is create muscular damage basically to your glutes and your hamstrings so that they rebuild bigger and stronger. And that wraps up one of my favorite glute and hamstring workouts. As you can see, we did squats, deadlifts, lunges. These are all compound movements that recruit pretty much your full body. And we also incorporated some cable work, some free weights. Um, we did some horizontal movements. We did some vertical movements. And all of this is really important when you incorporate all of these different types of things into your workouts. 
especially with the glutes, it's really great to incorporate different angles, high weight, low reps, different, you know, accessory movements, compound lifts. These are all a part of a really good glute and hamstring training program and workout. So I hope you guys really enjoyed this workout. I hope you learned a lot. If you want to learn more, please reach out. My Instagram is The Ashlyn Show, and you can also find me on Facebook. And honestly, I'd love it if you could give me some feedback and reach out anytime, seriously. I'm here for you, so thank you so much.